So we're here after the Cleethorpes game where Heena Town have just won 6-0. Um, goals coming from Sam Jones, Matt Richards, Nathan Benger and a hat-trick coming from Jay Cooper. With me I've got manager Glenn Clarence, assistant manager James Baker, coach Steve Huntington and the man with a hat-trick, Jay Cooper. Um, yeah, let's just put it out there. Today we've said that there was going to be a bit of tanking coming at some point this season. What happened, Glenn? It came, Tony. Um, I think credit to the lads. It's obviously a great result. Sends a message out there that things are changing and things have changed and the new impetus around the place. Um, I thought Jay, obviously, with his hat trick, was different class today. Closely, obviously, man of match with his hat trick, but closely up there with Nick Hall at Central Half, it was different class. But again, to a man, every, every single one of them were brilliant today. I'd, I don't want to be negative when I say it, because you can't be negative when you won 6 0. But I've said in the past that we've lacked a bit of luck. I think we've got a bit of luck today that we haven't had a whole season, probably. You look back to the Pickering game a few weeks ago when we've played really well and lost 1 0. Did we play any better today? Possibly. But I think we had the rubber of the, rub the green today. But it's been coming, and obviously the lads are delighted with that. But it's one game at a time. That's three on the bounce now. And on to Tuesday night, another big game at home. Okay, um, just building on that, Steve, what what would you say to, uh, yeah, Cleethorpes have put everything in today, they've ran a lot of blades of grass, um, they've made it difficult for us, how did we get over that? Um, I'm not so sure they, they did do that, Tony, if I'm, if I'm being honest, from my perspective, uh, I think they came here, um, and from the minute they arrived, I wasn't quite sure what their game plan was. We figured they'd play 4-4-2, but they arrived at half two. They didn't look like they wanted to warm up. Uh, and I think within half an hour, they were 4-0 down. Now, at that point, as a coach, Glenn might not agree with me, but I'd have said, you know, we'll, we'll take our medicine, we'll shut up shop, and we'll, we'll get back on the bus, get and be 4-0. They're still trying to do nutmegs, etc., and, and flicks, and, and etc., uh, 86 minutes. So they got what they got what they deserved, if I'm honest. Uh, and as Glenn says, I don't think we were... We were brilliant, so we're not getting, you know, we're not going to get over excited about it. Uh, we've done done our jobs, played well, worked very hard, uh, won our individual battles, got a bit of luck, uh, but they they were poor. Okay, Coops, looking very smart there in your uh, Hena Town tracksuit. Um, you had a bit of a spell with Hena at the start of last season. Um, for whatever reason that was, it didn't quite work. Today, hat trick on the town ground. How's it feeling, mate? Uh, yeah, mate, it feels brilliant, you know what I mean? I know, <laughs> come there last year, it didn't work out for obvious reasons, like you said. But, but I think um, now I'm uh, fitter. I think I've improved a bit. And yeah, just brilliant. To get that trick and all on time and ground, fantastic, man. Brilliant. Man of many words there. Um, Bakes, Tuesday night, we've got Addersley Rec. I'm sure you can remember the game up at their place. Um, 
Yeah, we won 2 1, if I need to remind you. Um, very physical side. What, what we're looking forward to? Another Yorkshire team there. To be honest, Tony, I mean, I don't want to disrespect any side that we come up against, but we're progressing now, and today was, a, was going to be a massive challenge for us. That was one of the things that we'd said before. We've got a fresh look about ourselves, um, a positive side, an attacking side. <clears throat> and as I say, I don't want to be disrespectful to any side that we come up against, but we're, we're concentrating on what we're doing now. And if the lads keep developing, the team spirit keeps improving, then I'm not too fussed about which opposition we come up against, if I'm completely honest, because I think that we can, be, we can turn most sides over. Brilliant. Glenn, we've beat the side second in the league today. Um, I know you don't like concentrating on other teams, that gets mentioned every week. But if we win, we've got three games in hand on them. We're only a point behind them. Is that where you'd expect us to be come the end of the season? I said before the game, Tony, that um, with the squad we've had, and I said it before, with the squad we've had this season, um, I'd expect us to be second in the league, not sixth or seventh. And that's what we said before the game. For different reasons, that hasn't happened, but there's a long way to go. And... Again, you don't want to disrespect anyone, but you want to have belief in your own side. And before the game, we're going into that today with no fear. Yes, they're second. Yes, we've got games in hand. We're not in the top three, whatever else. But that's what we plan to do. We plan to put that right and show teams that we should be up there. And come the end of the season, playing like that, getting wins on the bounce. So hopefully we will be up there. But again, time will tell. Keep playing like that one game at a time. Excellent. Thanks for your time there, gents. <laughs>